we got this uh, Lexar flash drive in uh, with a broken connector. In this case, the connector is the circuit board. Um, because of that, the circuit board is actually cracked, but uh, it's, only, it's not uh, fully cracked, it's uh, just partial. However, the crack lies right behind the controller, right here. So because of that, uh, it makes it very difficult to repair the circuit board because you have all these uh, vias and uh, traces. Also, when the uh, drive was uh, cracked, it looks like it uh, knocked off these two resistors over here. Uh, it could do an off-chip recovery. This is a silicon motion controller. They're pretty well reverse engineered. Um, but I prefer to try going with the donor board first, uh, which means that we're going to take the controller and memory chip off and move it to this guy over here. Um, one thing to take note of is that these empty uh, spaces for resistors uh, are here. Uh, those are used to program the controller for different uh, memory chip options. So we want to make sure that those chips match our donor board chips. Uh, the, res the resistor values don't need to match, but uh, they need to have a resistor on there. Uh, and uh, in this case, they do match, uh, making note that the uh, resistors that were over here were broken off the uh, donor board. So let's get started and pull the memory chip off. So I'm using a uh, blade tip or spatula tip uh, for my soldering iron, Let's see if I can get that out of there. It makes it pretty easy to remove the uh, solder on there and the solder, the, the flux from the uh, solder core does the rest of the work. That's how you do it. So now we need to Pull the controller off. And let me add some flux. Turns right off. All right. Let's move the parts over to our donor circuit board. Flux. Out of the way, clean the uh, solder from when we remove the chip. That. Okay, clean it up a little bit. The circuit board over here is marked with. Pin number one, pin number one is right there. And I 
think we might have a bridged connector right connection right here. Yep. Cool. Move over to this side. And and looks good there too. Just for the sake of being thorough. Can I do that? All right. So this one's supposed to be bridged over there, so that's fine. Okay. Let's clean it up. Doesn't look like anything was knocked off. All the pins look good. Don't see any bridging. Check for short to ground. There is none. So let's try it out. And it works. All right, so that's transplanting a controller and NAND memory chip onto a donor circuit board.